Hi everyone. Greetings friends. It's Jim. And Dave. The beer review. Beer review. Well, I'm just like, kind of like you have like most of the side on this side. And I have like nothing here. So moving right along, Dave. <laughs> What's I'm on looking time? at the camera. I look very unproportionate to you. Well, slide over. I thought I was going over this way. Anyway, how you doing people? Good. See, we were talking about... I'm secure. Yeah, sure he is. Just because he's married. He's giving him a pat on the back. He did that twice. I have a way. child, which means I have. Proof. Oh yeah, you can't be gay and not have children. Right. Right. Because that never happens. <laughs> no, of course. Not. I'm super. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. What's on tap for this beer review? Oh, right, by the way, yes, we're doing beer reviews. I'm talking about our sexuality. Right. Um, we have we a beer both. from from Flying Fish. Flying Fish. It's called Farmhouse Summer Ale. Farmhouse Summer Ale. It's a tribute to the highly drinkable everyday beers from French-speaking Belgium. It contains two real pulp, two, two real pale Puto. malt, and seven percent wheat. This beer is lightly filtered mm -hmm. with an earthly, spicy hop character from imported Syringian Goldings. Start with a with a T in there, and a beautiful, rich, creamy head from the wheat. I know what I said made no sense, but deal with it. It happens. Malts are two real pale, white wheat, carrot, eight, and a uh, word I can't pronounce, I'm not even going to try. Uh, hops are Columbus, again, word I don't understand either again. It's, what is that? Sturigian? Um, Sturian. 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 Yeah. Sturian okay, yeast is Chico. Chico and the man. Chico. Chico. Original gravity is 11.5. Plato. What does that mean? It means I'm I think, up. therefore I am. Uh, alcohol by volume, 4.6. Uh, it's all about tasting a beer, not much alcohol. Bull crap, in my eyes. Um, I've used a 15.1, which is good. Formats are 12 ounce bottles, half kegs, six quarter, uh, six kegs uh, in cast condition. Availability April 15th through September 1st. Food pairings are spicy foods, fish, salads, and anything you can put on the grill. Also makes a great marinade. That's exactly anything you can put on the grill. You can put crap on the grill. It's good with crap. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so literal. I'll just, uh, I might be repeating this, but this is what it says on the bottle. Farmhouse Summer Ale, a warm weather classic, great with any food you can put on the grill. Fruity notes from the yeast, an earthy spicy character from the imported stewing golden hops, and a clean dry That's finish scary. makes this beer that... Makes this a beer you can enjoy all summer. Period. Okay. Period. Well, this is very light on the SRM scale. Very light on the eye. A little uh, yellowy. Looks like pee. Yeah, it's a it's slight, warm. slight fogginess, but generally pretty clear. Let's give it a little snow. It's lemonade. Yeah, yeah it's got lemonade. Some, it does have fruit notes, like it says. Is it a shanty or something like that? <laughs> shanty. Yes, it's a it's a poor town on the edge of the city. No, they have shanties. Okay, Shandy, Shandy. Yeah. Oh, what's the difference? T and a well, D. Well, T to D, yeah, whatever. You're in the English. alphabet. Hey, no. it's in the top 26. What's the problem? <laughs> no. hey. Hey. What the frig? Yeah. Oh, I tell Here. you. That's just taste. Oh, the worst curse cook in the world. I mean, how does toast have be, bones? I think it's going to taste like lemonade. I think it's going to taste like a farm ale. Yep. yep. That is a farm ale. It's very light, uh, crisp. It does have. A little bit of spicy character you might expect from a farm ale, but not as spicy as some. We've had some uh, saisons or farm ales that are very peppery. Saison. This is not that peppery. It's actually pretty well balanced, I think. Saison. Um, I like it. I think it's a very good representation of the style. Dave, your thoughts on the taste? Tastes like lemonade. Tastes like lemonade? I'm not getting that many lemony notes. I am. This is not to my liking. Yeah. Ooh, no. I mean, nothing that I would throw back. But it's not something I would go out and buy. Well, it's not, you know, the magnificence of it. If it was in a, in a 12 pack, you know, and it was like, you know, a variety thing or something like that, okay. I'd be stuck with it. I'd drink it. Well, I would I buy would this. I would not go out and buy this at a, in a craft, uh, like say you go to Wegmans and you buy it in a, you know, take one, put it in the, in, the, in, the, in the six pack, I would not buy it. I would probably uh, want to get this in a variety pack, although. If I was a party and this was the main beer that they were serving and it was it. chilled, I think it would go good with a barbecue. I would drink it. I wouldn't turn it back. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's fine. You know, give it like a, I think it's a good representation of the style. I give it a five. I'm going to give it a little better than that. I'm going to give it a six and a half. 
Well, that's a whole lot more, man. Well, no, I think it's fine. It's crisp. It's, you know, well, that's a, the problem with some styles is generally when we give it a number, we're doing it to our preference. And, you know, well, I, 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 doing well it, right? yeah, I know, but the trouble is there's so many different styles that uh, when it comes to like a lager, lagers are a very narrow, in my mind, flavor profile, unless it's something like um, oh, an Indian pale lager or something like that, that it's really, there's not a whole lot of variation. And it's only when you get something to, on the bad side, like say a Budweiser, that for me is like a one that I want to spit it out. One? Yeah. You're being generous. It's one to ten. There is no zero. There is a zero. And that's it. No, zero is no beer whatsoever. It is no beer. So that's a zero. No. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Uh, that's yeah. fine. But um, yeah, so this Very being well. a Saison, again, I don't think it's. It, Saison, it, is it? Well, it's a farm ale. It's generally the same thing. Is that what they call it? A Saison? Is yeah. A right. Ale? Well, that's Belgian, French speaking, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Which I'm reading about World War One right now, and it's kind of farm. Uh, yeah, that was generally the type that they would uh, set up, I guess, in the winter time and give it to the farm hands in the spring and if summer. If you want to, you can go to Summer Vale, in New Jersey, and go try their beer out at their place. Puff, okay. So yeah, um, I think it's definitely fine. It's um, I've had some that's been, like I said, very peppery. This one, not so much. I don't know if I was crazy about the peppery, although it did make for an interesting Apple. beer. Yeah, yeah. Pepper? yeah, I've had saisons that are very peppery. This is not peppery in my opinion. No, this is very light and crisp, and it's, it's quite frankly, I think it's refreshing. So, I think it's a good representation of style. In the style itself, it might be an eight or a nine, but my general overall very, preference is I'm going to give it a six and a half. Very generous. Well, we had somebody comment on one of our very first uh, in the top 30 reviews, I think, and uh, I, I sent you a link to it, and the guy's just like, well, you Americans, you know, you're in your lagers, you know, you guys have to have a good English bitter. And I said to him, hey, dude, check out our other videos. We've come a long way since this one. And yes, no, uh, we no, we bought some pale ale since then in bitters. Very good pop. No, pop. Oh, look awesome at that. Uh, we would love to see the cat butt mm -hmm. on the video. She's okay. Hello. Oh, what a friendly cat. She loves you. Oh, she's being all friendly and you're blocking her with your iPad. She can. Oh, she's so good. Oh, what a good cat. I love her. You have good cats. Very good, Puff. Oh, what a sweetie. Yes. You're a beer cat. She is awesome. So anyway, there you have it. It's the Jim and Dave Beer Review. Good. And like That's we always fun. like to say, please drink responsibly. And by this we mean that the Surgeon General, the Surgeon General of the United States recommends that women who are pregnant should not drink alcohol due to the risk of birth defects. That you should not operate heavy machinery, which includes driving a car when under the influence. And that excessive drinking may cause health problems. My dad drank a whole bunch, so just think about it. It's not just women. Men should not drink a whole bunch before they have children either because you know what? They can turn out to be alcoholics. Wink, wink. I hear you. Wink. And if you're under 21, please don't watch this nonsense or drink either. Why can't still you be watch there. if you're under 21? Well, because we don't want to encourage them to drink. But we can encourage them to watch our Tom Coolery to say don't drink. That's because that's what yes. into. Yes. Look. This is what happens when you have a lot of beer. They turn out like See? us. See? 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 The prime years of your life are gone. See? And you're reduced to having no joy in your life except for drinking beer on Saturday. <laughs> Jimmy, this is the greatest part of my week. <laughs> greatest part of my day. Psych. Wow, I did that. You did that. Yes, thank you for focusing on the beer review, Dave. Excuse me. I uh, concentrate I on everything while I do everything all at once and when I do everything all at once. Because you know why? Because this, the dude abides, okay? The Big Lebowski, awesome movie. Watch it. I Live like it. how you have like five different hand motions for a two See? lines on your shirt. That's very good. Yeah. You should abide. Hey, listen, but the reason we do this is we believe that you should drink great beers. Have a good laugh or two. With your friends as yes. you scratch your nose. I will scratch my nose the day I die. And if you all eight people out there that watch our videos don't like it, Welcome. That was like anyway. space balls. Sir, salute. <laughs> I just lost our only viewer. Yeah. You offended me with your hand gestures. That's wrong with you, you Sonny. You're talking like this. Hey, 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 hey. I don't like this man. I don't boy. like that guy. Let's get Those Yankees here. up there, they're making fun of people from Texas. I think we got I'll tell you what, you come down to Texas, we're going to show you we're what gonna we do down there. We're going to get pulled. Why? Pulled. 
We're going to hook you up to our steer and have you go out there into the field and run five different directions at once, boy. 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 I'm going to make that father's care work. Boy. 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 All right. I'm done. Good job. See ya. Thank you very much, people, for watching. I only just in full round because, well, yes. this is the highlight. This is, this is the highlight. Course. This is one of the things I like to do and I enjoy it. And, and, and I hope you guys can get on YouTube and go, hey, you know what? Let's watch those guys and their tomfoolery. And uh, so in that vein, please comment below. Please rub your nose and send us a picture Even if you're not learning if anything. If you have a picture of your beer cat, you can share it with us on Twitter. Jim Rett, J-I-M-M-R-E-T. Uh, let's see, is that on, 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 on Twitter or, or Twitter well, is Cold31. And Untapped is Kilroy88. And it's Facebook good. is, what is look for me? I'm there. Go see me. Yeah, you can't miss me. Me and my two cats. He's the guy. Ahead of time. He's the guy that's got a picture like this. No, I was sitting there with my hat on, my two cats sitting on my lap. Right. Goodbye, Puff. Goodbye, Puff. Puff. People, have fun with life because it's too short. Puff, do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? And if you want to do anything you want to do, and do it and enjoy it. It's not illegal. Yes, yeah, he said meow to get a treat. You want a treat? Meow. Meow. What's up, blue cat? Nah, forget it. Bye-bye.